Good morning! Good morning, good morning. All right. So, Tuesday morning, we finished the Battle and Wake in about an hour and a half. Cut the stream short. That's not true. It's about two hours. But what ended up happening was 15 to 20 minutes in, my stream crashed, and uh, or my streaming software crashed. It took my whole computer with it. So, we rebooted. We uh, finished up the uh, brain fart. Finished up Alan Wake. We left off with some mysteries. Uh, ooh, Night Springs. That's the name of that show that we always saw. And uh, uh, Alan Wake is lost in the dark place, writing a new story novel called The Return. Uh, somehow I feel like that's going to factor in to Alan Wake 2 or American Nightmare. And uh, I don't know how long American Nightmare is, but what the hell is arcade action? Ah, I see. There's like some kind of, I don't know, some, I'm guessing you fight off Taken and um, anyway. Menu's completely different. Tone looks like it's completely different. So this will be interesting. Um, I just realized I did not update my stream info, so I'm going to do that now. So, let, I'm, it's going to take me a minute to update my stream info. Uh... There we go. Looks like it's updated. All right. So I have no idea what we're walking into, but already it looks like it's a Western theme. I think I see uh, some cacti or uh, succulents at the bottom right. We got the long straight road nowhere. Signed to Night, Night Spring, seven miles away, and what looks to be mesas in the distance. So we're going to jump right into this and see where we go. Hey, I was right. Old gods of Asgard. Barry Wheeler again, of course, of course. Well, there's Alan is Wake. Ancient and eternal. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. See, they don't ever say Mr. Scratch's name. That happened in the first one when Thomas Zane said his name. I will say, at least they vastly improved the animations I'll in the... You eventually. Maybe. Cut what are you going to do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. All right. I am eternally grateful they have decided to go for improved... Uh animation in the cutscenes at the very least. 
The man has been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Okay. I guess I should have gone here first. There is no very high. We will set it all manually. This is an old game. There's no reason I can't play it at maximum difficulty or maximum graphicalty. What? A, I don't know where. So go with that. It was funny before I said it. Oh, we're starting off early with the possessed bullshit objects. Cool, I see the HUD has been updated slightly. Okay. I mean, the textures need help, but this game is pretty old. <coughs> oh, I'm supposed to grab a gun. There it is. And here's where we're taking birth. Yep. Oh, you look different. Okay, so they've changed this somewhat. I can't slowly burn away the darkness anymore. I have to focus it. But it burns away faster now. So, trade offs. Uh, I'll take it. Mechanics have been slightly adjusted from the original game. In another life, the man was a writer. He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. I didn't become one overnight. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year as a staff. Okay. I like my subtitles, folks. Uh, I'm probably not going to spend much time reading or listening to manuscript pages, I'm going to be honest. The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. Okay. Somewhere within the earth, space itself has been pierced and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. Okay, guess that's what we are doing here. Okay, shift is still dodge. Can I hop the fence? Interesting. Can I drive a truck? No. I can get myself a, a shoddy. Problems you can solve with buckshot. No oh, fuck. Oh. Oh.
the truck's headlights. I wonder if I could go to the diner. I want to see if the diner's open. Let's see if they got me some nice burgers. Don't look very open. But there are flares here. Can I go in? Like, I know the game wants me to go to the motel, but this motel... Now I'm curious about the diner. Did someone just disappear? I could swear one of them vanished. Okay, I'm not going in there. Yeah, there he goes. He blinked out. Okay, so I'm not imagining it. That fuckers are blinking in and out. I can't turn around and see his face, so I can't tell if the in-game facial animations are any better. What's this? Okay. Whoa. We're about to find out if the animations are any better. Hey, it's you. There. You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think you might have something that no, belongs No, the facial animations are really? not better outside of cutscenes. page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm gonna deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight. Gotta okay? have our sexy the light. mechanic. The light. True. Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me, even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um... Now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. I'm very Should I switch to the nail like gun? That. How much ammo has he got? We'll give it a shot. I have a shotgun if it the all else fails. The light recognizes the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design, custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. Oh hell, this isn't going to be good. Is this on? How can you tell? Okay, so... Interesting addition. They've also added... Yeah, I was about to comment on that. I just noticed they added a mini-map, uh, which is nice. Because last time I got lost a lot, which isn't the end of the world. Not having a mini-map isn't, like, the worst design decision ever. But having one does help with simple navigation and uh y'all know i got lost a lot in the woods i would get turned around wouldn't know where the fuck i was going and that wasn't challenging it was just unfun but 
can I pull up? Nope, there is no big map. <coughs> mm. So I have objectives I need to go find. Let's get going. So far, this game has not been as creepy as the first one. I think this might be more of an action story than a horror story this time around. What the fuck? Oh, it's over here. Oh, uh, wait. Wait! Oh. Dodge! Oh, we're doing this again, aren't we? Okay, that is actually not a fan of that. Oh, okay, I see. They have not made oh, dodge hell. any more reliable. This isn't gonna be good. Hmm. Oh uh, wait, wait! Whoa! Where is the other one? Okay, a valve is going to help me rewrite That's reality. Okay. Uh, sure, we'll roll with it. What have we got down here? Unlock Magnum. Okay, there's one right here. Let's go check this out. Ah, it's automatic. Okay. Just one more to go. A valve and a battery. What are we doing here, Mr. Wake? Yeah, uh, it says trans, therefore I own the truck. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this an open world Alan Wake? Is that what this is? It doesn't feel like it. I mean, it's much more open than the previous game. The previous game was very, very fucking linear with some side paths for exploration. But this is like a completely open map that I can kind of go where I want in the order I want. Yeah, yeah. itself in two to avoid the hated light. It becomes weaker, but more numerous. Such is the efficiency of horror. I see. Oh, you've replaced the fast assholes. Put more nails in the nail gun, Mr. Wake. was just messed up. Yeah, you're not wrong. What have we got? Nail gun ammo. Carbine rifle. Oh, I do like... We'll switch. Something tells me I'm really gonna need the extra fun. That's everything. The man has found the battery, but it is empty. It will need to be recharged. A CD? Was that what I just picked up? Oh, this gas station. Let's see if there's anything here. Oh no, I already stopped by here. Sort of. Uh, is that an observatory up there? Looks like an observatory. <coughs> Can't go in this way. <clears throat> I 
Oh, I see. The gas station's attached to the motel. What's in box number one? Submachine gun. I guess it's about time I went full auto. It's a, what? That was, a, that was terrible, Mr. Wake. That was terrible. I don't even understand. Mm. Need this battery charged. No problem. Here you go. Thanks. Why is she not taken? Listen, I don't know what's going to happen exactly when I do this. My memory's a little hazy. I don't even know what that means. All I'm saying is you don't want to come anywhere near the oil field, all right? This thing could get out of hand. In the middle of highly flammable materials. Great. I'll do my best to contain it. Just please don't turn out to be some kind of crazy terrorist guy, okay? I think that's Mr. Scrooge. I, I, you can't even say his fucking name because it's like he starts to say screw and then it scratches out like a record scratch and then it uh comes back and finishes the word Okay, you can dodge shit my ass. There we go. Reload your rifle, Mr. Wake. What have we got? Submachine gun and carbine ammo. Seems like the ammo fits whatever you're carrying. Oh, are these splitting guys again? Yeah. Okay. Reload! Wow, this is ass. I should have kept the nail gun. That looks like a big boom. Changes. Okay. Definitely more of an action game. Mr. Wake, the genre has changed. We are no longer in a horror story. We, well, we might still be a horror, but it's more action horror.
as you can see, Mr. Wake, that did not solve all your problems. <coughs> well, she, all right, she went quiet. Is she gonna be taken when we get in there? Nope. Got to reload. That's the last one. We're good. All right, that mechanic is consistent. So that's good. Where is she? Is oh, there she is. I got him. You're safe. I need you to tell me what you know about him. The guy who looks like me. He... There was a there was a party in one of the rooms. It, it was pretty wild. I am um, I'm not sure which room it was in. You didn't attend. I no, I wasn't there. But it got way out of hand. Anyway, I I heard that he went to the diner and there was a fight there or something. Maybe you could find out more from there. I, I I got some keys that you can maybe use. You just happen to have the keys, huh? Fine. I'll take a look. Stay here. Like hell. I'm getting out of here as soon as you leave so I can close up this place and go home. Emma, you really want to stay here in the light. Yeah, thanks for the advice, but I'm not sticking around. Just go already, okay? Uh, okay? Yes. Thanks for the help. Were those the... what do you call them? The Taken? What are they? It's complicated. Short version, the darkness can take people over. That's why I had to destroy the oil derrick. Otherwise, they would have overrun the place. Okay. I know if I get 10 manuscript pages, I get a fucking magnum. I wouldn't mind having that. Oh, what's this? This looks like something I should explore. Once again, we have an invisible stamina meter, though. Enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the books. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> Man, I actually saw them twice back in the I was just a kid then, but my dad worked at this club, and he'd sneak me in to see bands all the time, you know. Talk about an education. Anyway, great band, couple of great albums, solid fan base, and then they kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Well, now, almost four decades later, they're. All right. Weren't even young back in the day. I still think they actually are. Thor and Odin. Or at least whatever this universe is equivalent is of them. Um, based on what I know from Control, they might even, like, be... Poltergeist. Its existence is one of rage and hostility. And its very presence turns ordinary objects into deadly projectiles. Oh, shit! Uh. Ow. Uh. 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 Um, anyway, I think they might be the result of, uh, whatever it is they talk about in Control, where it could take an ordinary object and give it... Abilities. What's this stove? It is dark and cramped. And Mr. Wake, your flashlight kind of fucking sucks. That feels like it's going to open with enemies. Traces of violence. A callous midnight snack. A room key left carelessly behind. The man recognizes the enemy's handiwork. I think these are keys for the motel room. <coughs> Satellite and now this? That place might be involved. Yeah, I saw that up on the hill. Okay, we have uh, something out behind this place. 
But also, who keeps the rings on a fucking giant ass ring anymore? Like, I get it. It's the trope, and part of it is also like we are kind of playing with the whole concept of like storytelling and all that. And it's important to the story that if the keys be on a ring, they will be on a ring. Emma Sloan was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. Emma Sloan, an innocent victim of his dark half. More collateral damage in the ongoing war. Damned by forces beyond her control as much as by her own action. That's a lot of assholes. I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> what have we got? Manuscript page. <coughs> <coughs> We might as well go see where Emma is. Damn it! Why didn't you listen? Where'd your flashlight go, man? Does he put it away? Yeah, he turns it off and puts it away. What the fuck? Okay, Alan, you're... Hmm. Michael Faraby, dead, tortured, dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. A slim lead. Yeah, I saw that up on the hill enough. with the lights, and I was like, I it bet we go there. Something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. I wasn't done exploring the fucking rooms, but I guess we are. The observatory. Hot on the heels of the Herald of Darkness, the Champion of Light forges on to see the stars. Okay. All right. That's map one done. This is a very, very different game in some ways than the first An one and in others. A place for a man to witness the magnificence of the universe. But such insights are not what the Champion of Light is looking for. He has come to find a weapon. So it's not open world, but the map is definitely open. Alright, I'm going to step away for a quick unexpected bio break, so be right back. When Test. the Book of Boba Fett came on uh, Digital Channel, the, and I, I, John Favreau confirmed this for me. What am I hearing? Cut the opening shot to match my filibuster of the hand. You can sync them up time wise. The what am I hearing up, and why? The, no, pans down from the twin sons. The hand comes out of the Where screen. is this coming from? To my filibuster. They did that on purpose. Pan down from the twin sons of Tatooine. Uh, we are now close on the mouth of the Sarlacc pit. After a beat, I don't club, know what's making sound on my computer right now, but we are trying to find it and kill it. Grabs onto the sand outside the Sarlacc pit and the, the feared bounty hunter pulls himself from the mall. Okay, I don't understand what that is, but when I hit my power button, I start getting audio from something else.
<coughs> so it would seem that I have to figure out what pressing the power button on my headset actually does when it's not being used to turn things off because uh, my computer has just spontaneously decided it's going to play a video from something. So, da, 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 into the observatory, I have the keys. Not to worry, sir, I have a key. I have a permit that says I can uh, do whatever I want. Oh, Poltergeist is back. No, maybe, sort of. Wow, that door really fucking like looked possessed for a minute. You know, I'm Eddie Rodman. And I'm still talking to old gods of Asgard who are doing their big comeback tour. How's that been going for you? Odin? Splendid! I'm having the time of my life! You know, I get through the line. Left or right? Do any of the viewers want to vote? Left or right? I don't think I have any viewers. I think I have like one, uh, possibly, but I'm going right since there is silence in the chat. What the fuck was that? Sound like a fucking gunshot. Okay. I don't have enough manuscript pages to get myself a, a uh, hunting rifle. That's fine. Tells me I missed a bunch on the last map, which I kind of guessed. The only problem I have with that system is as, as you miss manuscript pages, you're going to get further and further behind. If the number of pages required to unlock things keeps escalating, it will get harder and harder to actually unlock any weapons. Sorry. Got to remember to hydrate. Fucking hydrate. Five bullets seems to be the magic number. <coughs> okay, so you can fire single bullets with this. Cool. For a minute... <laughs> For a minute, I was wondering if it was like you always fired a minimum of five bullets, but no. The Champion of Light and the Herald of Darkness. Interesting. All right. <laughs> this isn't Flagstaff. This kind of reminds me of the Lowell Observatory. If you're ever in Flagstaff, Arizona, I highly recommend you check out Lowell Observatory. It was a blast. We had lots of fun. Uh, saw lots of stars. Got to learn some neat stuff. And uh, got to look through a historic telescope, even. And see, I, I saw things I never thought I would see with my eyes through a telescope or not, uh, I saw things like galaxies. I saw the actual like uh, disk of a galaxy. Uh, I saw star clusters, all kinds of things. Uh, it was really a cool experience. Highly recommend it. The staff were fantastic. There were some jerks there. They were asking people to use the path lights or use red lights 
to navigate, but there were people using flashlights and being jerks about it. Uh, ain't much could be done about that. That was the people that were there with us, but my wife and I had a fantastic and amazing time. We both walked away from it feeling like it was well worth our time and money. Jeez, 40 manuscript pages? There's gotta be... I've got, There's no way that I'm supposed to have 40 pages by now. So yeah, if you ever read Flagstaff, Arizona, Lowell Observatory, it is fantastic. Checkpoint reach, that's never good. Hello? I'm Dr. Rachel Meadows and... Wait a moment, it's you! I can't believe you dare show your face around here again! Mr. Scratch has been busy. I've got flares now, motherfucker. I have a theory, we're still in the dark place. Oh, that was close. It wasn't me. I just look like him. Are you serious? That's what you're going with? I mean, yeah. Please. I'm trying to stop him. You saw those shadow things trying to kill me, right? I bet he got along with them just fine. Yes. Yes, he did. All right. Come on in. Thank you. I mean, she's got a point, Alan. I just look like him is not hey, a good buddy. defense. I think I'd take a moment to talk to you. There's a party next door. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Hello, beer. Just a moment, I'll set the lift down. I didn't expect to see anyone here tonight, but I'm relieved to see an actual person. That's assuming this isn't some kind of cruel trick on your part. So what has Mr. Scratch done? This seems like an overly complicated lift. Doctor, the man who looked like me, what did he want here? Wow, the hair in this game is terrible, but it's right also now. old. Something I can't begin to classify, but I think it's disabled our satellite. There's a very peculiar signal that we're receiving. A signal? That's what I'm here for. Well, so was he. But he didn't seem to understand it at all. He got very angry, sabotaged our imaging array, and now we're blind. I believe the event is still going on, but we can't pick it up. Is there something we can do? What he broke is essentially just a special camera, but we can't use the telescope without it. There's a replacement in my car. If you can get that to me, we're back in business. Consider okay. done. I don't exactly trust any of this. It's almost as if something's being transmitted to Night Springs. It's the strangest thing. It's quite elusive, almost as if it wasn't properly there. I don't know how to describe it. So, what was the signal like? I wish I knew. He appeared before I had a good fix on it. He was very pleasant when I was working, but when I isolated the signal, he suddenly forced me out of the control booth. He said it was none of my business. He seemed to... to change. Somehow, he... He was very smooth and charming before that, but suddenly he became... I'm sorry. I'm not sure I want to talk about it. I have to ask, do you always wear that to work? I was at a party for a local art exhibition. Fascinating works. When I was called away by my assistant... He has probably I turned into a taken. ...spot this event. I don't know where he is now, actually. He was supposed to bring us some food, but he never showed up. Tell me about the event. Oh, it's quite fascinating. It looks as if stars were changing, somehow. Or shifting positions. It isn't really happening, of course. Most likely it's caused by some kind of atmospheric refraction phenomenon. But I've never seen anything like it. 
Did he hurt you? No. He didn't quite threaten me exactly. But those shadowy things started to crawl into view, and whatever the signal was, he seemed to be extremely frustrated by it. He just started breaking things and left. I thought it best not to interfere. You were lucky. He's done much worse. Yes. He showed me a knife, and he kept talking. He enjoyed the sound of his own voice. A proper maniac. You really aren't anything like him, are you? Believe me, I try very hard not to be. All right, let's go get an imaging array, folks. Like I'm. Good luck, and try to be careful. It's a very expensive part, and we don't have a replacement. Oh, that tells you I'm probably going to have to like oh, carry dear. it safely that up the hill. More than I intended. Uh, be safe. They kind of lampshaded what I was asking, like, why? Are all the women characters in sexy outfits? I have a theory that none of this is actually happening, though. And that it's built in some kind of fantasy from Alan Wake or Mr. Scratch. And therefore may be beholden to uh, their <laughs> fantasies and or biased or sexist beliefs. That's Let's not to say you can't dress sexy while doing jobs, but speaking as a shop former shop teacher, uh, you always want to dress practically when it comes to things like what the fuck? I saw that spider web, y'all saw me fucking highlight it. Okay, so I don't actually need to shoot those. Oh, fuck this. I was like looking at this, I'm like, that's suspicious. I should have said something, is what I should have done. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, fuck this. That was utterly useless. Wasted a flashing. Hang on, there's something here. I saw it for a minute. Ten! So when we go back to the first area, if we do, and if those boxes haven't moved, I should be able to get myself a magnum. Let's see, North Observatory. That was the East Main Storage Building down the hill. Visitor parking. Hmm. Good to know. Moving up to. Found it. Excellent. I'll operate the platform directly below the telescope so you can install the array. Don't worry, it's very easy. You just keep your spare imaging ray in your trunk. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Let's take a look at the skies. I've seen telescopes that you and other optical equipment that you just plug a SLR into. <laughs> so I guess it makes sense. Shut this down. 
there's a problem with the automated clearance system. Somebody just interrupted the flow. So now what? Well, you could go and open the secondary coolant flow valves manually. I know it's dangerous there, but, well... I got it! Please come talk to me if you have... Am I going to the storage room, or... somewhere else now? Oh, I gotta go outside. Just remember, you need to release all three valves. It doesn't matter what order you do it in. Okay. Back to the spider village. The spider webs are gone now. I was like, I was sitting there, I'm like, I don't remember seeing spiderwebs the first time I came through here, but okay. Yeah, that answered my question then. I, I should have voiced that out loud, honestly, but it is what it is. Oh, right, I gotta click the mouse. I'm like, waiting for him to finish cranking the wheel so I could get going again, and he's not doing it, and it's because it's user error. Yeah, the Lowell Observatory was a historic observatory. Uh, one of their telescopes is like 130 years old, and that building is fascinating because the entire top rotates and everything, but it's all built of wood and on rubber wheels. And it was really interesting, like, hearing about it. And then later at night, they, like, rotated it all and yeah. opened it up. There was a long line to get in, but I'm a fucking space nerd, so, like... And so was my wife, so we both waited in line to go see the stars. Because, look... You gotta see the stars if you get the chance. Like, you... If you've never taken the opportunity, or had the opportunity... To go, uh... See the stars outside of a outside with no light pollution. You need to. You don't understand what you're missing until you have seen it yourself. Okay, one at a time. It is a. Uh, it's frankly, it's a life changing experience. Okay, there is. There it is. I do like the addition of the mini-map. Uh, finding manuscript pages can still be a challenge. Because it doesn't trigger unless you're really close to them. That should do it. It almost looked like a person for a minute there. I can't hurt that, so let's keep moving. I gotta say, the, uh... Soundtrack in this and the last one haven't been particularly memorable, but that's okay. Okay. That's pretty. I hear alarms, that's not good. I bet she's taken two. I released all the valves, Doctor. Is it working? Just bear with me a moment. Yes, I believe you've got it sorted. It's working again. Nicely done. I wasn't sure since it looked like the darkness busted a pipe. Look out, they found a way in. Oh, the voice acting in this is not great, but whatever. Let's try one of these out. 
Here, folks. Oh, fuck. Look out, they found a way in. Hello behind me! Oh! You alright? That was intense. I'm sighted in now. I still have no idea what I'm looking at, but... It's very strange. Very strange indeed. Oh, where are my manners? Please, come on up. I'm sorry, I was distracted. All right, your eyes are black voids. Are we receiving the signal now? Oh yes, it's coming in loud and clear. It's amazing. I'm not sure what it is yet, let alone where it's coming from, but it's interacting with our system somehow, like it was intended for us. But I don't understand how that could be. Maybe that's just how the story goes. What? Never mind. Is there a way I can hear it, or however this is supposed to work? I think the signal is incomplete somehow, but you should be getting a printout of it now. What do you mean, it's incomplete? It's almost as if we're only getting a fragment of it. I need the whole thing. This is important. I'm sure it is, but this is all we're getting. Did the man who looks like me get the whole thing? He locked me out of the booth, so I have no way of knowing. But I can tell you that he didn't really seem to understand it. So, what's in the sky? It doesn't make any sense. The stars are just... they're wrong. I thought I'd be able to see something, but it's like I'm looking at a sky that's just... It's not the right sky. But that's impossible. I consider myself a rational man, Doctor. But this isn't a thing you can but measure or explain. I that we're still in the dark place. taught me just to roll with some punches. It's either that or go insane. I find it disturbing that you sound like you're speaking from ample experience. Yeah. He is. He is... Stark raving mad. I, I actually no, he's not, but he might be, but that's Print not out of a signal. It too is a weapon created by the champion of light. In its words, stirs a new reality, but it is incomplete, and yet it provides a roadmap for the man to follow, a course that will lead him to a place where he may confront his enemy. All right. The drive-in. Once the Pam, a documentary. celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And yet, it's the search for closure rather than culture hmm. that brings the champion of light here. All right. <clears throat> it's funny, uh, just looking at my computer readouts while I'm playing this and oh I forgot I was going to try to set something up well I'll set it up for next time all the oh it's you mmm that's fantastic are you okay go away no no I want you but Get angry I here. this kind of makes me uncomfortable. So you gotta go. And not just because she's no, clearly got the not. dark place around her. Okay. I I love you so much. Did you know that love hurts? 
Are you gonna hurt me now? Cause you should. As an abuse victim, I just want to say that this is. I think I can help you if I can get the lights on in here. Making me kind of really uncomfortable. Can't turn the power back on. It's not allowed. You said. So where shouldn't I go so I don't turn the power back on, accidentally? It's the big building on the other side of the drive-in, but it's locked. Mm. Where's the key? <coughs> Just so that I know to avoid it. It's it's on the wall next to the cash register. Uh. But you can't. You can't. Don't be bad. Hey, no problem. I'm just gonna go do some other stuff. Scout's honor. I just try to stay calm. I, I've seen this kind of thing before. Uh, I, I am be okay. Why did I? Why is it so hard to think? <sighs> and we're back with old gods of Asgard and their manager Barry Wheeler. Guys, you're on your comeback tour, and you're playing a lot of your classic hey. material. Just in case there's a part of you in there that's freaking out right now, it's not your fault. I promise I'll do what I can to help you, okay? I, I don't... Please go away. You know, they spent a lot of time in... Retirement. We were retired. We were? Yeah. No, 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 no. We were at the launch. The man has encountered this before. People whose integrity has been suborned by the insidious touch of the darkness. He has experienced it himself, but merciful light burned away the darkness in his brain. Uh, that just uh I'm gonna be honest, folks, that that plot point that she the way they did that makes me kind of uncomfortable. Like kind of really fucking uncomfortable. Um Hopefully that's not a recurring thing, because if it is, I'm going to be honest, I don't know that I will be much inclined, I thought I saw a rectangle, to finish American Nightmare. Because... Hold on, hold on, what was that? I want to try a crossbow. Alright, perfect time to try it out. One shot. Takes a second to reload. There's no way that would really take that short time to reload. But... Oh, fuck! Oh! Four shots left. Let's go get my rifle back for now. Yeah, it's a drive-in. So I've been to a drive-in theater once. That was a fun experience. It, I wouldn't even try to pretend it was a high-quality audio or movie experience. We were restricted to our car speakers, and it was on a corrugated uh, display. But once the sun went down, you didn't really care about those things. It was just oh, fun. Look, Mr. Hero's here. You ready to save the day? Look, I still have flashbangs, assholes. There are two of you here. Here, have that. Oh, right, you're the splitting guys. If 
I thought about that, I wouldn't have used a flashbang. I thought they were the big, uh, tough guys that take multiple hits. Okay, interesting. So that's the second time I've used a light to use health and it went out. So apparently those are not intended to be complete safe havens this time around. Okay, I'm going up. I don't need want to go up. I want to go down. Can I go back down or do I need to go back? That looks like it will be lethal. I think I need to go back. What is that? That's the weapons box. Anyway, unforgettable experience despite the uh, quality of the audio because of the vehicle we were in at the time. Um, my car has some that decent stock speakers, but it's, a, you know, part of why we had a good experience, I think, was because we had the, uh, we were in a hybrid, so it was running on battery, not not burning gas the whole time. Just something to keep in mind. You are gonna shit yourself when you realize what I have done. Shut up! Alan Wake, are you going to shit yourself? Shut up, man! I mean, I'm going to be honest. The writing is not exactly as strong as... so far as the first game. Everything I've heard about the se a true sequel, though, does not indicate that it has issues with writing like that. So... So he keeps talking about his memory being hazy, and everyone seems to already know him. Now, there's two possibilities I've considered, although it seems they've already indicated they know him because of Mr. Scratch. Uh, one of those possibilities is that this has all already happened, uh, that we're in a time loop. The other possibility, I suppose, is uh, simply that Mr. Scratch has already fucked with everybody. Oh. Fuck you. So, yeah, see, okay. Those restore your health, and then they go out. That's how they work this in this one. Something fucked with the power here. Looks like I have to go inside. I think it's kind of funny and sad. My laptop can, is barely powerful enough to run Twitch and Discord at the same time. So, like, if I want to uh, watch my Twitch stream, I have to close everything in the background so my laptop can stream. Oh, flare gun ammo. I want... Oh, fuck! Uh, I'm going to go tweak something real quick. Give me a second. I forgot something that will help me do this. That will help. It is interesting they show your bullets de deflect in this game. In the first one, they just kind of vanished into the ether.
That's the noise we heard from outside. What have we got? Pump action shotgun, flashbang. Okay. I should be able to figure this out. I don't see any clues. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. I start looking again, I'm like, wait a second, there's a pattern here. Okay, so maybe I am happier with this than I am with the nail gun. Okay, so the lights come back on, so those must be just checkpoints now instead of, like, prolonged safe havens. In the original base game... Okay, we're going back a different way. Dodge, damn it! Uh, in the base game, you could stay under them indefinitely until you were ready to actually step out and move on. And if you were careful about it, because enemies would tend to disappear, you could uh, actually kill enemies from within their safety pretty easily. Uh, you had to get the timing right, because enemies disappeared after a few seconds. Why do I feel like walking through that would be lethal? Okay. What am I missing? Oh. Oh, it's not lethal. I miss the way out. Yes. You have no idea how badly you're screwed. It's going to be a blast to watch you find it. You don't want to get hit by those. Oh, are they all being grenades at me? Okay, so he just disappears. I can't actually affect Mr. Scratch. At least not right now. The fuck are they throwing at me? Darkness grenades? Oh, they're like flashbangs, but dark. Turnabout's fair play. Oh, fuck. The fuck? Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, it's called the darkness, and you're kind of fucked up. I can. No, don't. Oh, it's not. It's you. Did. Did you help me? Looks like you're feeling better now. Yes, I am. Thank you so much. I don't know what happened. There was this guy. Before you say anything. I know I look like him, but I'm not. Don't worry. You just don't feel anything like he does. It was in my head. I feel like I need to take 50 showers. Where is he? That asshole wanted to get into the projector booth. He was talking about fixing things so the sun never comes up. God, it didn't seem that weird when he was saying it. It sounded Of course, really make it into own light. I still think we're in the dark you place, yourself. though. The projector booth. That sounds about right. I need to get in there. I have the access code for the door. Here. Thanks. I'm just glad you showed up now. He said he'd be back after he'd arranged for some security. Do you feel up to telling me what's going on here? We have an art exhibition here, supposed to open tomorrow. I'm the curator. My name's Serena Valdivia. Alan Wake. Holy shit, it is you. I didn't... I mean, I've seen you on the big screen. I... I know your wife. You know Alice? Wait. Big screen. Yeah, we have a film from her here. What the hell happened to you? Getting back to Alice. Oh, God, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's quite a coincidence that you're here. She made this short film. I mean, she shot it years ago. You're in it. It's a part of the exhibition. I'm in a film? Yeah, it's like... I mean, it's just footage she shot of you at some point. But she turned it into this thing. It's a... Uh, Almost like a memorial of sorts, because, you know, you're supposed to be dead, or something. That's the same paper he picked up for the huh. signal. Okay. How's Alice? Is she alright? She's okay, I guess, all things considered. I know her pretty well. You're really Alan? I can't believe you're here. Nobody knows what happened to you. But there are people who say they've seen you. That wasn't me. He just looks the same. Like, you know. Yeah, but that guy's a lot more slimy. The thought of him makes me... I hate him, but I... There's something about him. This... God, he's so creepy. Anyway, you're not like him. At all. I hope you can stop him. Anything else? No. Let's go. No, it's like Thomas Zane. That's the security system? I guess it was too much to hope for an alarm and a fat rent account. Why can't I go forward? Oh. It was like not reading my W key for some reason. Oh, what the fuck? Is that what I'm supposed to destroy? Yes. Oh, hang on, hang on. What if I could just drop flares into them? That worked.
Well, I don't have any more of those, so... Oh, you know what? Let's kill two birds with one stone. Okay, so after exiting the cutscene, it no longer registers W as moving forward. That's what's going on. The Champion of Light can feel the fragment of the signal in his pocket. The weapon that can change what will be. It's incomplete, but it's all he has. Okay. <laughs> You've been up to something, haven't you? Too bad it's not gonna do any good. I'm a better you than you ever will be! And I've got all the time in the world. Everything you've got's going to be mine! Your life! Your wife! So I don't think Mr. Scratch was originally intended to be evil just because... What are you gonna do about it? Why would Zane have knowingly sent that the out? I bet he's been corrupted. Now. I could keep this up forever! Show yourself! Whatever you say, buddy! <sighs> Oops, I did not Again, mean to skip he that. Enters the world. Fuck. But now he sees the trap for what it is. A maze that loops back into itself. I'm, I'm here again. They sent me back. Okay. Interesting. I uh, appear to have been right about that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come back, flare gun. I still have all my weapons. So that's good. I hate that I missed that cutscene. Can I watch it? Uh, what happens if I hit this? Story mode. Replay scenes. Okay, no, I can't. I If I want to... Oh, wait. The rush of darkness is unstoppable. Time itself twists and tears, sweeping the champion of light back with its dark currents. Again, he enters the world, but now he sees the trap for what it is, a maze that loops back into itself. I'm I'm here again. They sent me back. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna go back. I forgot some. Um. Okay, manuscript page, I believe, is still picked up, isn't it? Yeah, cool.
That's my, my that's my mood. What the, hell? What At least they don't have to be dispelled. You don't have to dispel the darkness. Okay, let's see. I have a theory now. Okay. Yes, yeah, so Emma? we'll go find more pages. You here? Wow, it is you. I, I guess all of it really happened. You remember me? Kind of. I felt weird all day, like I could almost remember a dream I had. And then, just before sunset, I remembered the page. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get those things again. Not all of them. I... I went out and got them. Well, most of them. I felt stupid at first, but then it was getting dark, and those... those things started showing up, and one of them made off with the battery. It ran into the railroad tunnel. There was no way I was gonna follow him in there. Sorry. It's good you didn't. You should be careful. I mean, really careful. Yeah, I... I kinda remember something. Something bad happened to me, didn't it? Forget it. It doesn't have to happen again, okay? Just do what I say. Yeah, okay. God, this is too weird. Am I going crazy here? Just go get that battery. Try to stay calm. You're perfectly sane. We're caught in a time loop. That's why this is happening again. I... I believe you. Let's God, do I like I the time warp again. How come you're not freaking out over this? Because on my personal weird shit -a meter this just doesn't write. Look, I know something happened to me before. You're gonna be okay if you just keep cool, okay? Thanks for getting this stuff for me. It's a big help. I hope so. Are you gonna make everything blow up at the oil field again? I have to. Well, whatever the hell else you might be, at least you're not boring. Okay, so how many times am I gonna just do the this? Battery. Oh wait. That'll save time. Hang on. There's something in here. Flashbang. Whatever it is, I can't get to it yet. So we'll leave it for now. I have 18 manuscript pages. If we find that magnum, we're gonna open that sucker. I wanna try that shit. There it is. But first let's go here and get this before I forget.
find the battery in the well, railway tunnel. That's obviously safe. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, there's spider webs again. We know what happened last time I saw spider webs. I hear bats, I hear wings, I hear like things crawling around. I already now knew those were to charge this up. Here they come. Eight legged freaks. No, that's a lot of them. I guess I ain't gonna try this out anytime soon because that's a lot of targets I don't feel like wasting bullets on. What are you gonna fucking do? the battery. Okay, I'll charge it. Here. Try not to get killed. Okay. I'm gonna take care of this. Try to stay calm. Look, what if I just... What if you stay here with me, please? I'm sorry, but if I don't deal with this, no one else will. Ugh, yeah, I guess. It's just that this is getting really creepy. I believe this is real, but I don't understand any of it. I'm getting scared. I, I can't believe you're so calm. I get scared, but I've had a lot of time to get used to it. That helps. The guy who looks like me is the reason this is happening. I caught up with him, but he swept me back here. Back in time? Yeah, it's a trap. We'll be doing this forever unless I can break out of it. How are you gonna do that? I'm working on it. I came prepared, but things got kind of scrambled when I arrived. I'm tracking down the things I need. Yeah, well, feel free to climb back into your DeLorean or whatever it is you do. 88 miles an hour, baby!
Okay, so those take a lot of ammo. I'm not a fan. Oh, fuck you. You don't take a lot of ammo. Okay, that does actually kill them. Well, here we go again. Better get ready to run. Really? We got to... <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> got to do this again? Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's gonna catch a fire and not let me down. Gonna turn right. She'll be in trouble. Better hurry. Oh, hang on. I got something here. <coughs> Emma, coming. Batteries. Let's get to the ammo. Just keep your head down. Oh, that's fun. Oh, yeah, you, you guys. I'm gonna need those keys to the diner now. There's a motel key there that I have to get. Oh, hey, you don't have to do that. I have the motel master key. I work for the same company, you know. Um, what's at the motel? Well, there's a dead guy. He's got something I need to get into the Mount Redtooth Observatory. God, that's awful. Hey, um, you wanted to know about the guy who looked like you, didn't you? The last time you said he had a party, and but you didn't go. <laughs> no, that's not true. I did go. It was really great at first, and, and then... 
I didn't see it myself, but I hear he turned nasty. He hurt a bunch of guys pretty bad, and there was this girl, he... She died. But I didn't hear about that We saw that afterwards. on the video on the screen. I thought that he was so charming. And then he went to the diner. That's, that's right. I wasn't involved. I wasn't involved with that at all. I don't know what happened. Fine. I need to check out these motel rooms. In the meantime, you stay here, okay? I'm serious. Keep the lights on and stay here. Yeah, okay. You got it. I sure hope you're right about this. You're gonna stay here this time, right? Because the last time I didn't and that thing, whatever it is, happened to me. Yeah. I don't want you to get hurt again. Don't worry. I'm gonna stay put. I don't remember what happened exactly, but I learned my lesson. Good. It doesn't have to happen exactly the same way this time around. You proved that much when you went out and got those things for me. I think you're gonna be okay. Okay, we're not gonna explore... Haunts Emma Sloan and fills her with dread. Okay. This time, she does as she's told. It's not enough to save her. Well, that's a bummer kind of thought saw it coming. I think we'll have to do the loop one more time based on that at least. But also that didn't happen to her until last time when we came back from the diner. So that is an interesting note. said that nobody knows what the future might bring, but for this man, it's no longer entirely true. A weaker man might simply give up, but the champion of light is an expert on destiny. Sometimes the puppet and puppeteer can be one and the same. In the Twilight Zone. Red tooth, its top littered with man made eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. Tonight, the champion of light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. As okay. history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. That's where the camera should be. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking shoot the gun. Okay, that doesn't kill him in this one like it does in the previous title. Oh, it bounced way over here. Okay, I saw a question mark. Somewhere over here. Twenty-four, not enough to get that combat shotgun though. 
But I could try out the hunting rifle. I don't want to find out what those do if they explode under your feet. Let's try this out. So, and, hmm. Okay, got that again. Yeah, it's in a different place this time, actually, because last time it was up behind the other buildings. So I remember the spider webs and the spiders. Interesting. So the time loops are different in more than one way, then. Not. Oh, fuck you, birds. Fuck you! Stay here and accept your lead pills! Oh fuck! Okay, so it seems like ammo is always primary and secondary. In we go. You have to forgive me, but this feels very strange. It seems like this has all happened before. I have the replacement part for your telescope, Doctor. I, all right. Uh, let's get it installed. Let's do this again. I began to wonder if this isn't a very long game though, because I feel like I'm almost halfway through. Don't start it up yet. There's a problem with the cooling system. Yes, that's right. I remember. All right, let me think. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary coolant pipe outside. If you can secure it, we should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll take care of it. Before we go. If you have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained a few things. All of this is very strange to me. Uh, let me go so I can go secure the pipes. Okay, I wasn't imagining it. The galaxy's fading in and out up there.
still not enough to get the combat shotgun. I didn't even look at the map, but we'll go this way. I hear assholes. So I guess the horror in this one is less jump scares and more this pervading sense of drew dread at what the fuck we're gonna find out Mr. Scratch did next. Okay, it does kill him, it just needs to go off close enough to them. Why aren't I moving? Cause like you know Mr. Scratch, oh fuck, is gonna fuck with you and do shit to you and just you don't know what. I have a feeling the driving will be the site of the final uh you should be able to turn on the light <coughs> the uh drive-in will be the source of the final showdown with him. I think we're good to go. Alright, I'll start looking for the signal. Please head back. Yeah, they're gonna make me go back this specific way. <coughs> I guess they didn't like that. Okay. That wasn't what I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Wasted a flare. Right in the kisser. Shit. No way. Nope. <coughs> I guess they didn't like that. So I can't go that way. I'm not gonna waste a flare on that shit this time. Oh, right in the face. We'll go this way then. Oh, you cheeses. I'm not even going to use them this time. Combat in this one's much easier than the base game, I'll say that. I think part of it's the distance they give you from your targets most of the time. I do kind of want to step on a grenade and find out what happens. But I kind of don't.
It's gonna be another defense fight. No? All right, here we go again. Yes, I don't think it's quite the same thing we had um, the last time. Still, we're definitely picking it up. Are we getting the complete signal now? I'm afraid not. Take a look at it yourself. I'm printing out a hard copy now. I'd like to ask you a question or two before that, though, if you don't mind. What's on your mind, Doctor? Most people would find these events extremely disturbing. Provided that they survive these creatures, that is. <clears throat> you seem to be quite adept at dealing with the situation. Why is that? Yes. I was involved in... It's a complex story. I was in this small town, and a horrible thing from another dimension kidnapped my wife and manipulated me into writing this horror story that came true. I learned to fight it with light, and I managed to contain it and free my wife. But I was trapped in its world. Are you serious? Absolutely. So... I'm used to reality working in strange or even impossible ways. And I fought these things, not exactly like this, but close enough for a good while now. Of course, I have certain advantages. Was there anything else? What did you mean when you said you have advantages? At the risk of sounding like a lunatic, reality is much more fluid than people think. That lines up with what influence. we find out in Control. I didn't take you for a mystic. I'm not. I'm a writer. And under certain conditions, I can for lack of a better word, rewrite reality, change things. That's absurd. But it works. Assuming I believe this, why don't you simply, I don't know, write yourself some superpowers? It's not quite that simple. You need to follow certain laws of drama, I suppose. You need to think about consistency and symbolism. Often what you write isn't anywhere near as important as what you imply. There are things out there that will take advantage of your mistakes. You really believe in this? Don't look at me like that. You've experienced some of this yourself. I will gladly admit that something exceedingly strange is going on. But this idea that you're somehow altering reality with your writing is ridiculous. You're essentially saying you're controlling my actions. Leaving aside the rational arguments against this, what gives you the right? Well, Oops, it's my more like having a destiny. A path you're on. You're not aware of it, but there it is. If somebody changes it, what difference does it make? It's what every writer does. If you write something that affects one of the characters, they don't really know about that. I'm not a character. Are you saying that it's all right to take advantage of someone if they aren't aware of it? Look, all I meant was that if you're genuinely making all your own decisions and those decisions lead to whatever destiny you have, what practical difference does it make? I don't believe a destiny, Mr. Wake. It depends on whether our destinies are determined by things like physics and probabilities or natural reality which is presumably neutral and impartial, or by some kind of an intelligence. If it's the latter, that intelligence makes choices based on some criteria. If we suffer as a result of those choices, there's a moral and ethical element involved, regardless of whether we're aware of its manipulations. Wouldn't you agree? I... You're taking this very well. I thought you'd be angry. I suppose I would be if I thought you could actually do this. All right, we go over to the printer Another again. Printout. Another signal fragment. The message is still not complete, but it's another piece of the weapon he has built against his adversary. Mere words on a piece of paper. Some tells me I can either finish this today, hold back or dots. I'm going to have a really stre short stream Tuesday morning of this game. I might run the stream long today if it looks like I'm getting to the end. We'll see. The last time the man came to the drive-in, it did not end well. He hopes to avoid that fate this time. He hopes that what he has brought with him to this place is enough.
Ugh. Serena's probably out of her mind again. But I'm gonna need that key so I can get the power back on. You again? I'm really just here to get the key so I can get the power back on. Do you wanna hold me down? It's okay. Oh. I know you like that. Yeah, I'll just grab the keys. I could be like your wife. Little wifey. Waiting at home for hubby. Or you could This still be makes me intensely uncomfortable and grossed out. Neighbor. I'm already married to someone who isn't crazy, thanks. I'm just gonna go and get the power back on. Aww. Look, I may or may not be back. I have the access code to the booth already, so once the power is on... You should totally come see me. We could have fun. You know. We'll see how it goes. You should sit down or something. Try to stay calm. Get some ammo and tools. Hit the radio. The weather, but uh, I see we have a caller. Uh, hey, you're on the air with Eddie. What's up? Hey, Eddie, it's Ricky. You talked about feet before. You think you want to have a line? Let's go to restore the power. We're kind of just going to make a beeline. Are you getting it yet, genius? I fucked that up. Start shooting too early. What have we got? Sawn off shotgun. I like my uh, hunting rifle. Yep, this again. Each loop takes me about an hour to clear. We'll see if I clear a third one. There we go. Fuck both of y'all. That does not refill my flare gun. No, I can't just jump off? Okay. What's this weapon? Go ahead and keep running for all the good it'll do you. You know, here's my thinking. Why would he be trying to discourage us if we weren't making changes that he's scared of? Whoop! Oh, there's a lot of assholes here. Get rid of a few of you. Reload faster, Mr. Wake. Let's try this out. Ye, ye old generic assault rifle, staple of shooters. I have a fight out here like last time. Let's go get whatever this question mark is. 
up to 30. I thought we already had 30. Let me grab the assault rifle. Oh, well. Oh, no, the pattern's different this time. Ah, here comes the spiders. <laughs> Fuck you, spiders. I know how this goes. We gotta go this way. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. Okay, let's go. Jesus. Here, turn left, reload the assault rifle while we're here. Go out here, take a right. If you die, you lose. If you quit, you lose. If you make it to the end of the loop, you still lose. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, my fault. I saw him charging and didn't even dodge. Where are you going? Here we go. Fuck you. Under the pipe, wrench, and in the face. Where are they this time? There's one. Let's see if I can get two birds with one stone. No, I'm stuck. Oh, I see. There's an unlimited number of them. I have to kill the fountain to kill them.
Ага. Too slow, asshole. All right, this could be cutscene or direct to his skin. That the time itself is about to end. At least for him, he can feel the dead end rushing towards him. But there is time to act. Incomplete or not, he has the weapon. I don't have the whole thing, but maybe it's enough. The red extinguisher. Once more around the sun, then Mr. Wake. <laughs> You're trying to be cute, aren't you? What are you up to? It's a waste of time, buddy. You should just lie down and die. Let me take over. This is the only thing you've got coming to you. From here to eternity. No matter how many times you come back. It kind of reminds me of Mayhem from the uh, nationwide commercials or whatever they are. I don't know. It's I'm 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 the wind blowing a tree on your car. That guy. Here we go again. Time folds back on itself. Again, his senses scream as the very impossibility of what is happening assaults them. But the champion of light endures. Each time he gets a little closer, each time another detail falls into place. Now the trap works against the Herald of Darkness. I have a flare gun. wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but that might be effective. Oh, shit. You actually just eat up bullets from this. Right on cue, bubbling to the surface from untold depths, the horrors come. 
The emerging monsters do not expect the warm reception that has already been prepared for them. Oh, hey. This is new. There, turn right, we're not even bothering. We're not gonna waste time. <coughs> Next stop, saving Emma. Yep. Have a gift. Too far. Did that one shot him? No. He's a fucking, like, long arm, lump headed monster. He's not even a human anymore. So, one morning I was, I was running. It was in the fall. It was about um, 6 o'clock in the morning. The, the sun was just coming up. Is it bad that this time I just went, oh, he's going to be right along to save my ass? Not as long as I show up, I guess. Reload, Mr. Wake. Cleared out. Well, heart lovers, are you feeling neglected? You shouldn't. You know where the rock and stuff is. Yeah. All Thanks right, here we go again. again. I'd hate to die before I'm scheduled to be murdered. I guess I have you to thank for setting everything up at the oil derrick. Yeah, well, I figured that if we were going to go over this again, we might as well try to be smart about it, huh? I appreciate it. You took a big chance doing that. Are you okay? What do you think? I've died twice. I remember everything pretty clearly now. You said I was gonna be okay. I don't know what happened. Well, it's not your fault. I think one of those, wh what did you call them? The, the takers? I think they did something to the power. No, nah, Mr. Scratch is a taker. I'm sorry. I got the keys from the dead guy in that room. And I'm not handing them over until you do something about this. I'm sick of getting killed. Fair enough. You seem calmer now. I tried freaking out. Didn't do much good for me. I guess you get used to the craziest stuff. Good for you. Plus, I figured I'd take the edge off, you know? Mm-hmm. Those herbal supplements are pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah. I She's to high. To explain things to you now since you're calmer, but maybe this isn't the best time after all. Oh shit! Yeah, better not get all metaphysical on me now. Seriously, I'm like two sentences away from thinking how we could all be like atoms on God's skin or something. Or figments of somebody's imagination. Um. Wow. Uh. I'm just gonna try to chill out, and not think about that, or, or getting murdered. Yeah, it's cool with me, cause uh. I'm gonna go secure the fucking fuse box.
Oh, is there another TV screen or is it a manuscript page? So I've been thinking about. Keep them around, that's for sure. I skipped the fucking cutscene. Want to talk about what happened at the diner? There was this guy from the observatory, and he would just attack the poor thing. He smashed his face into the tabletop a bunch of times. It was horrible. I, I, and I just left him there. I didn't even try to help. The fate of countless individuals hangs in the balance, threatened by the machinations of the Herald of Darkness. And yet, for a moment, the Champion of Light breathes a little easier. He has saved one life. For this moment, it is enough. And soon, perhaps, he can put an end to this. Yeah, I think this is a pretty short game. Returning to the observatory for what he hopes is the final time, the man feels anticipation and dread in equal measure. Soon, if it looks like I could finish the game before, uh, say, uh, 1230 my time, I might run the stream a little bit long today and just do this in one shot. And if that's the case, I'll probably just append this to my Alan Wake pl uh, playthrough. I was expecting you. I've already taken care of the imaging array, but you should still look into securing the primary cover. I have a flare. Okay. I do like the Magnum. Glad I got it. <coughs> kind of wish I'd kept the hunting rifle, but I can. Oh, fuck! Oh, that works. I believe we're ready to look into the sky. Right there, Doctor. Yep, let's go push it there. Oh, now it's now it won't skip the cutscene. Now I don't really feel the need to watch it. It just wants to skip it when I'm talking to somebody. So here's my question: If the darkness is so smart and knows to cut off like coolant and shit like that, then why doesn't it just break the fucking pipes? Oh, that's not a chainsaw this time around. That's a fucking circular saw. That's a little bit more frightening. What is this again? Do I, I don't have 40, do I? No. Those aren't red. They don't explode. I don't know why I tried it.
that was effective. Alright, I actually don't like the assault rifle despite having a... Despite having paid for it, I didn't guess I did, I just had unlocked it, but... Here we go. Old God Fast Guard. Which means this will be a big fight. Let's go get that print out. There, I have it. But I wish these things would stop blatantly violating the laws of physics in my observatory. That's just rude. Are you all right? I'll live. I'm glad. I'll send the lift down to you. I remember our previous encounters very clearly now. But technically, if this really is a loop in time, we've never met before. I don't know why our awareness persists, but it's bloody fascinating. Doctor? You know, I know physicists who would give 15 years of their lives for a chance to experience something like this. I'd imagine that being stalked by horrible axe murderers would curb their enthusiasm a little. Clearly you've never met hardcore physicists. I'm glad you're in such good spirits, but- the Signal! Yes, it's completed! Finally! If all goes well, this should be the last time we go through the loop. In a strange way, he feels at ease. He is armed with his own words. And when the time comes, see, she says he not, doesn't remember what happens after not. he leaves. I think that's because this now, is a dark place and they're all characters in his story. Taken toward the final confrontation. Once more, we return to the drive in. If he's aware of the absurdity of arming oneself with a few sentences and standing against a power that can pierce time itself, he doesn't show it. The man has his share of weaknesses, perhaps more, but cowardice is not among them. <laughs> oh, you got yourself a plan, do you? That's where it is. I'm not worried about that. There we go. Alright, you can eat six bolts. 
There you go. I was like, is that wind or monsters? It's monsters. I'm just going to ignore y'all and go through here. There we go. for you. Now what I really need is... Oh, I see. Nobody burst through the middle this time. What I really need is an ammo box. Ow! Fuck! That's a lot of ya. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the end of American Nightmare coming up. I saw that darkness. Where the fuck did they go? Never get out of this <coughs> way, never. Don't worry. I'll take care of your wife and your life. That's a problem. Woo! Oh, I have no one to run here. Fuck. Oh, I see. The Magnum has penetration power. I can see the bullets sparking off the building behind them. Okay, now let's go destroy those dark fountains. I am out of carbine bullets. Oh, it's only 20 pages, not 30. Oh! That's what I get for not paying attention. He's getting desperate, Mr. Scratch. Fuck you. Ammo. What? You think whatever it is you're gonna do is gonna make a difference? This'll end up just like before! I do my best work in the dark. 
All right, let's go get rid of the dark fountains. We know the drill. Oh, fuck this. Go over the fucking thing. Each loop basically gets faster, but I did miss, clearly missed, a lot of manuscripts because I'm not really exploring. Okay. Oh, there's a fourth one this time. Is this going to be it? Again, the Champion of Light enters the final trap. The new reality is almost here. All he needs to do is change the details of the scene, push it past the breaking point, Death and rally. the will snap into place. Summer is almost over. Late at night. Move! Let me... Oh, God. I forgot. It doesn't let you... You have to, like, fucking, uh... Do the whole rigmarole with the controls if you're holding control when you do something else. Okay, so I need to find her for film. Ah. Oh, come on, buddy. Why don't you... <coughs> what? What is this? No! No! You can't do this! All I did was take the things you've always wanted and never had the balls to go for! It's my turn now! It's my life! It's my life! Okay. I don't think that's the end of Mr. Scratch. I have a feeling we'll see him. Alan? Either in Control or Alan Wake 2. Is it... is it really you? It's really me. How? Okay, so this remedies. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. We are back to using real footage in games, which is one of the interesting things Remedy does a lot.
lovers, held apart for far too long, enveloped in the light of a glorious dawn. They both feel it. He's home at last. I think he's actually in the Are dark these space. actual events or merely a dream? A memory or a glimpse of what is to come? In the twilight One zone. thing is certain. This scene takes place in another time and another place far, far away from Night Springs. So that was an interesting, more of an action take on Alan Wake. Same controls, uh, same general gameplay loops, but more in an action setting. Um, really enjoyed it. It was also kind of short, kind of play. But it's a, it was also just... It, I mean, it was short, right? It was a standalone expansion, about three hours long. And, uh... It's interesting. I'm not sure what I think of it in the broader scheme of things, but... I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it... I'm going to leave it there. I enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Uh, for my next game, we're going to stay in the horror adjacent realm, but it's, it's more of the action adventure like this one was. We will be going. <coughs> <coughs> Up next is Control. So, starting next Tuesday, we'll start playing Control. Uh, Control is an interesting one, it takes place in the same universe. I'm told Quantum Break does as well. Um, I may or may not play. Quantum Break at some point. Uh, it doesn't really do much for me from what I've heard about it. It's supposed to be good. But I will be doing Control and then Alan Wake 2. Thank you for joining me. Those of you who joined me. Uh, have a great day. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, ciao. See you Tuesday. 8 a.m. Mountain Time.